we really hope that you're doing well. This week, me and Amy have been having a debate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, there was an image going around on the internet a while back and we came across it again this week and we just cannot agree on it. So when I look at this trainer, I see grey and green. But when I see the trainer, I clearly see pink and white. But it's definitely grey and green. It, it's really not. It's pink and white. I don't right. get how you can't see it. Right, let us know in the comments what colour you can see when you look at the picture of this trainer. It seems that everyone views it differently depending on their perspective. That reminds me that today we're going to continue our story on Nehemiah. Let's take a look. Last week we heard how Nehemiah was working for the king of Persia. Hey there. Hello. He had had some bad news oh, that the city of Jerusalem was in bad shape and its people had turned away from God. It's terrible. <laughs> Nehemiah was upset by this and prayed out to God and that's where we pick up our story today. Nehemiah knew that he had to help. So he said to God, please God, when I serve the king his wine today, make him pleased with me and have him do what I ask. Later, when Nehemiah served the king his wine, the king noticed that Nehemiah looked sad. And so the king asked why. So Nehemiah told the king about Jerusalem and asked if he could go back and help them rebuild the city. Okay. Nehemiah made his way back to Jerusalem and once he arrived, the first thing he did was stop. He took time to properly mm. feel upset for the loss mm. of the city and the way the people mm. had turned away from God. Then he was able to assess the situation and work out the best way of starting to fix what was broken. When Nehemiah arrived at Jerusalem, he had a moment to properly feel upset about the situation. And when we go through hard times, it's important to give ourselves time to feel the way that we feel and to be upset for a little while. But we can't stay in this place forever. After some time, we need to take a step back, assess the situation and change our perspective. You know, I just feel so sad today. But we went to the park and we played hide and seek and it was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, but it was just too cold. It was miserable. And the swing was broken. I mean, it was a bit windy, but the sun was shining and the swing next to the broken swing was working fine. And we got to go on the slide and the roundabout too. I really enjoyed it. I'm just not feeling it. I just, I just didn't like it when that person was speaking to me. I don't know who she was. Why was she talking to me? Are you kidding me? I love making new friends. Making new friends is so fun. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? I think you need to wear these glasses. It might help you see things in a different way. things in a much more joyful way. It didn't really matter about the swing, I'm sorry. The other swing was working and I guess it was nice to make a new friend. I like these glasses. I think I need to view life through them more often. Joy! <laughs> Joy! <laughs> Sometimes when we're going through a hard time, what we need to do is take a step back to stop, assess the situation and change our perspective. Sometimes we can be so focused on the situation in front of us that it becomes overwhelming and all-consuming and what we really need to do is pause. So what does this look like for us? Firstly, let's practice patience. Sometimes when we're in a difficult situation, we can make quick and drastic decisions. When we respond too quickly, we can react negatively and this is really unhelpful. But when we're patient, and give ourselves time to think about our response, we react in a more helpful way. Secondly, we can adjust our attitude. As we saw earlier, if we have a negative attitude, often we see the situation in a more negative way. But when we have a positive attitude, we see things in a positive light and see things in a bit of a more joyful way. We can't always control what happens to us in all situations, but we can control our attitude and how we respond. 
Thirdly, we can try to better understand the situation. When Nehemiah arrived in Jerusalem, the first thing he did was assess the situation. That gave him the information he needed to know how to move forward and begin fixing things. In the same way, when we approach situations knowing all the information, we are in a better position to fix things. Next, we can take a step back. Sometimes, when we take a step back from a situation and give ourselves a bit of a break, we are in a better position to think clearly and process our emotions in a healthy and helpful way. And finally, express yourself. Express yourself. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> when problems arrive, it can feel overwhelming and taking time to express how we're feeling to God and to others that we trust makes a huge difference. So this week, whatever challenges you may face, Remember to pause, practice patience, adjust our attitude, understand the situation, step back and express yourself. We're going to show you a craft that you can do this week to give yourself time to pause. For today's craft you will need a paintbrush, some coloured paint, a sharpie and a pebble. Pop your paint into a bowl. Paint your pebble carefully and leave it to dry. Write the word pause in the middle of your pebble and use it to remember today's lesson. Let's pray. Father God, this week, whatever we are facing, please will you help us to practice patience. Help us adjust our attitude to situations to understand the situation and to step back and to express ourselves. Amen. So before we finish our time together today, we've got a bit of a challenge for you guys at home to take part in too. We're going to play charades. We are, indeed. So we're going to have three goes each. You guys are going to have to guess along with us here as to what we are doing. So I'll go first. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Oh, um, are you eating with chopsticks? Yeah. That's good, That's right? Good. Oh That's good action. I need to stand for Ooh. this one. Surfing. Yeah. You look so chill. <laughs> right, next one. Okay. Are you um, watering your plants? Yep. You're bossing this. I'm the you're bossing. I think your acting is good rather than my guessing being good. <laughs> Seasoning. Spaghetti. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> At first I thought, what are you doing to a baby? <laughs> <laughs> At the point where you started eating, I thought, you're not a baby. <laughs> Don't say baby. <laughs> Did you think I was like, could you care? Well, at the point you put it in your mouth, I thought, mm, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> right, last one. Okay. Are you Pinocchio? <laughs> That's so good. All the lies. Okay, right. Um, I'm excited for this one. I'm ready. Okay. Shower? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought opening fridge door. She's not getting in the fridge. She's not rubbing her armpits with sauce. It's fine. <laughs> Saucy armpits. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, we hope that you've enjoyed today's video and we hope that you have a wonderful week. Take care and we will see you again very soon. Bye! Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>